Dow shows some consolidation today, um, but nothing that would have warranted any severe selling or change of investor sentiment. This uptrend channel is still in progress. The S and or the uh, T line is trying to catch up, which means the markets could pull back slightly for the next couple of days, waiting for the T line to catch up, or move sideways, waiting for the T line to catch up. But the top of this trend channel seems to be a significant factor. We should still be in a 45 degree until there is a change of that trajectory. The NASDAQ also holding up reasonably well, even though it sold off a little bit today. Still waiting for the T-line to catch up. It might be moving sideways. But the fact that we can see that we're in a slow, steady uptrend allows for being in long positions as well as short positions to kind of offset any risk factors. Candlestick analysis creates the opportunity to recognize which chart patterns are going to have the strongest price moves. For example, our recommendation on ONXX has been based upon the fry pan bottom. Now as it's pulled back, Notice how it's done dojis right here on the T-line and then broke out today in a cup and handle type formation. The return from this uh, trade is probably going to be much greater than a steady uptrending stock in that if this is wave one, this is wave two, wave three could be fairly substantial. That could be easily uh, recognized in one of our recent rec recommendations on BONT. As it broke out from this level, moved up strong, notice how it's pulled back indecisively right back to the T-line, setting up for a J-hook pattern. But if it opens positive, we know that it's not going to be in a steady uptrend. It's probably going to be on the same trajectory as wave one. This allows for analyzing and being prepared for the next big price move in a stock. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.